We went for our first ultrasound. I was exactly, what, 20 weeks? We went to see if he's got all his little legs and his feet. And um, she was like, he has both feet and this, that. And she was like, I just can't see his heart. So she went and got the doctor, and the doctor came and did the ultrasound. And you know, we're all like getting nervous at this point. Like, well, what is it that they can't see? She said, I don't think that we can see the piece in his heart because I don't think it's there. They suggested that we go to Children's Hospital of Michigan. Kimberly and her partner Jordan were referred to Children's Hospital of Michigan's Fetal Care Center. The Fetal Care Center focuses on diagnosing, managing, and providing treatment of congenital anomalies, such as heart defects for moms and their babies before, during, and immediately after pregnancy. This comprehensive approach allows the family to have their services and specialist appointments in one place. And with a patient navigator like Ashley guiding them through their prenatal journey, they will be prepared each step of the way. Moms come here for their prenatal appointments, so they meet with their pediatric specialist. A lot of moms that are pregnant and their babies have an anomaly. They will also need to see an MFM, which is a high-risk OB doctor. It's definitely a barrier for families to have to come to multiple different appointments, so having a fetal care nurse navigator allows me to coordinate appointments for families where they can come for one day and have multiple different appointments. So one of Kimberly's appointments entailed her fetal echo, an MFM consult, delivery planning conference, and meeting with a surgeon. I actually first met Elite when um, his mom was pregnant, so I met his uh, mom and dad as a fetal consultation. It's important for the families to get to meet us and to be able to have their questions answered. In Elite's case, he's diagnosed with what we call complex single ventricle disease. What that essentially means is that you are functioning with half of a heart. For a family to hear that, we can't just tell them that's the diagnosis. We need to be able then to provide support and hope for them and then be able to counsel them and stand by their sides. But it also allows us to start planning. After that first appointment, I know I feel way more at ease. Even though we still had a lot of questions, though, it, it helped knowing that we had like a plan. And when they explained it, like, you know, this has happened before and he will have life. You know, as long as everything goes accordingly, he will be fine. I think it definitely made it easier. Usually, cardio babies in his situation have three surgeries. We respect them to only have two. However, he got sick, so he did have to have a, a rush surgery. And so at two months of age, we performed what's called a modified Blaylock Thomas Tausig shunt. This was his first operation, and he'll get his second operation, usually around six months of age. Then at about two to four years of age, he'll have a third operation to culminate in what's called a Fontan circulation, which is the type of circulation that children with half a heart need. I used to just have moments where I would just cry because I just didn't know what to expect. However, after the first surgery, I feel way more at ease going into it. We were really big on wanting the same people. And I think they executed that very well because I said, I don't want to meet a lot of people every time I come. And we had our same people. Every time we came, we came once a week um, for a couple months. Everybody knew who Elite was, and I really appreciated that. You know, they don't leave me out. And even during the surgery, they called us. <laughs> they called us. Um, we tried to go to lunch to like, you know, pass time. And I was in there nerve wracking. They called like every hour, like, he's doing fine. We're doing this, we're doing that. They called for every single point. But they just always keeping us in the know. We were out of the NICU in 14 days and we were back home. Today, he is five months and he's just the biggest ball of joy. <laughs> and he's thriving, gaining weight, has good oxygen levels and he's doing very well and we're looking forward to caring for him with this next operation. Being able to see someone like Elite who has had their surgery and is doing so well and the family is doing so well, it just warms my heart to make me feel that like I did a good job preparing them. They did a good job. He did great. <laughs> he's having a childhood. He's playing. He's active. You know, he has no restrictions. You know, he's normal. He's doing amazing. And I think that's thanks to Children's Hospital. <laughs>